Hello, Jack, we're back. I'm about to play another 1v1 game. Basically my favourite kind of game in PA right now. Um, playing a chap called Alfiwa. Um, as ever, not been playing this game much recently, so I'm a bit rusty, but... Let's just see what happens. It's still a good game. So just queuing up my sort of usual opening build here. Which is factory mechs, two P gens mechs. And then I'll probably just build factories with my commander. And I'm building three fabbers plus a scout to start with. I'm quite fond of parking the scout there. Where you can get quite a lot of intel from the player's base. If you're... Uh, if, it's, if it goes unnoticed. Uh, let's just set up my pip here. Uh, I'll just set it to opposite side for now. Um, I haven't set my usual camera anchors yet, so do that. Now then, oh, there he goes, just wearing, so he's going bots. Uh, three fabbers and an air factory. So right away there, I know that my second factory needs to be, and my third, in fact, needs to be max. And now, make sure that they're being used. Gonna just rally them in the center for now. Now he's got four bots now, so I'm not quite sure what he's doing there. But there goes a bomber. So I need to uh, um, generally, to establish air uh, superiority first, you just generally build fighters until you outnumber them and then you can build bombers. Uh, or at least that's what I try and do. <laughs> Now I'll build a vehicle factories after that, like I was originally intending to do. Got my uh, got my little scout then, which is unsurprising. Uh, oh, that's ah, whatever. Oh dear! All right, using my hotkey there. To select all of my uh, air force, and they should hopefully make short work of these bombers. Ah, oh, glorious win! And that's why you need to scout early. <laughs> uh, now my eco's all right. He says just as it sort of dips a bit. I uh, don't think this guy is uh, playing that well today. Yeah. Um, gotta make sure that my rally points are set. Uh, let's just get some more. Uh, I don't think. Are my rally points not working properly? I'm sure I've just made a mistake. Just micro these fighters again, make sure he doesn't get any bombers. Obviously now he's building fighters again, but I've got the air advantage, so... Just quickly check... ...these spots. And I should actually be mixing in, uh... 
And we don't technically need to, I suppose. But I'm going to mix in some spinners. Just... Just in case. Uh, another hockey there for my land units. Okay, so uh, nothing going on there. Just got to check those outlying spots. Uh, oh, I see it's a toggle. That's what was confusing me before. Alright, so we're doing good. Eco's positive. We've got some nice wins early on. And now we've got my... Uh, oh, let's just try and get those off. Parking my land force outside his base. And uh, that should be the end of that. Command arguably is a bit exposed here. Um, but I know I've got the upper hand. And I don't think he's doing anything. Uh, tell you what, let's just... I'm going to build two fireflies. Park them here. Um... Let's push these in. Because um, I don't think he's got much. Oh, he's got these... Uh, he's got these pelters, but I don't think they're going to help him much. Let's go around the outside. I might be attacking a bit too early here, but... Gonna be kind of boring otherwise. Yeah, I, I underestimated those pelters. <laughs> but it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> Just make some bot factories quickly. Oh, I uh, left this Faber idle. That's terrible. Of course, my metal income is a bit crazy right now. But in fact, I'll be much better off queuing up some uh, infernos. I've still got the upper hand, so this is. thing about that is that you've always got to scout and make sure he's not up to anything tricksy, but he's very much sort of amateur turtling going on here. Uh, <laughs> doesn't seem to be doing anything with his commander. Let's push up. Oh, his commander's on the move. Yeah, he's still sort of focusing on, on turtles. Uh, turtles? Pelters. I'm just going to take out the pelters with bombers now, I think. Some infernos coming up now, so they can tank damage nicely.
Never really gone up against uh, pelters in this manner before. It's quite interesting to see how effective they are. But, you know, there's sort of no threat going on here, so I'm not unduly I'm bothered. Oh, oh, that's not good. He's sort of pelter creeping me. <laughs> so I think that's going to work. No. Oh well. Probably got enough. Uh, he's got sort of laser defense turrets going on now, but. Trying to think of if I can snipe him, but uh, let's see. His commander's there. He's got some laser defense turrets, but not. not I reckon I might be able to pull it off. Try and go for it. Boom. Trying to get rid of that menu, there you go. <laughs> Well, that was fun. I do love this game. It's a great game. You can really tell a lot of work and passion has gone into it. So uh, I'm not going to bother reviewing that in Chrono Cam. I think it wasn't particularly exciting. I'll have a quick look at the stats. So my build efficiency was pretty good, apart from a tiny little drop in the middle. Uh, metal production always going up. That's what you want. Same with metal demand. Wasted metal there when... Uh, Basically, <laughs> I was busy sort of focusing on the army side of things and not managing and using my eco. Any production up, energy demand up. Probably waste a lot of energy at the end. Only ever had four fabers max. You can see he built a lot. Went up to 11 there. And classic sort of lack of expansion, lack of uh, production. Um, you always want to be building more and more factories as your eco gets stronger. Um, more and more units. Uh, I didn't attack intelligently at that game. I should have amassed more units and tactically taken them out. Um, boom bots are, are great for taking out sort of turtlers as long as you can break their defenses in the right places. Um, so yeah, there you go. Command rate about the same. Nothing major going on there. My APM isn't that high. So, uh, anyway, I might play another game. I hope you enjoyed this one. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.